My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. I will solve. Uh, I will help you solve the math problems that appear in the official SAT study guide. There are eight exams in the year. Each exam has three sections. I will try to go through as many questions as I can. Today, in this clip, I will solve problem that appears on exam number one, section number three, page 399, question number 14. After watching this clip, if you find it helpful and if you wish to purchase a DVD which contains a solution to all the problem in section number three, or rather most of the problems, it's going to be one hour uh, DVD, uh, please send me an email at www.preppforsat.com. Go to the website and send me an email and I will take care of it. So let's solve the problem. It says, you have to have the book in front of you, otherwise you will not follow it, because I cannot write the problem on the blackboard. It says, in the xy plane, the equation of the line L is 2x plus 5. So, we are dealing with an equation, uh, a line rather, which has an equation of 2x plus 5. They are calling it line L. Question is, if M is a reflection of line L in the x-axis, in the x-axis, not the y-axis, the question is what is the equation of the line M? So, here's your, here's your coordinates. If this is your line, the reflection of this line along x-axis is going to be something like this. You understand? Let's find out what's going on here. The first thing you have to figure out, first thing you have to figure out is that well, we need two things, one of, one of two things to, to figure out which kind of line you're dealing with. In order to figure out the equation of the line, or if you have the equation, in order to figure out what the line looks like when we, when we plot it, you need one of two things. You either need two points, or one point, and the slope. Here, for example, you realize that when x is 0, y has to be 5. See? If I plug in 0 for x, y has to be 5, which means the line goes through this point. When x is 0, y is 5, which means the reflection of that line along x-axis, if you were to hold mirror here, the reflection that you will see here will, will have to go through 0, minus 5, which means whatever the correct answer is, has to have a negative 5 here. When x is 0, this has to be negative 5. Let's look at the answer choices. y equals negative 2x minus negative 5. As you can see, we need a negative 5. When x is 0, y has to be negative 5. So this one works. The second one says, b says y equals negative 2x plus 5. We have a problem here. When x is 0, y equals positive 5. That is not the case. The reflection tells me that y has to be negative 5. This guy is no good. C says, y equals negative, y equals 2x minus 5. See, when x is 0, y is 5. So that one works. That's a 2. And these, D and E are no good. But actually, I'm jumping my conclusion here. I'm jumping my gun here. D says, y equals negative 1 half x minus 5 which works because we have a negative 5 and x is 0 and y is going to be negative 5 and E says y equals negative 1 half 
plus a 5. When x is 0, when x is 0, y is going to be positive 5. This guy is no good. Another thing that we have to realize right away, I'm making it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be actually. There are only two things that you need. One is that it has to, see the equation of this line is this. 2x plus 5. As you, as you saw before, when x is 0, y is 5. And the slope of this line is positive 2. This is a slope. I hope you know it. mx plus b is the standard form of the equation. M is used conventionally, traditionally, to represent the slope. The slope in this case is positive 5. So therefore, the slope of this line has to be negative 5. The slope of this line, the equation of this line is going to be negative 2x and then it goes through negative 5 and x is 0. So it has a slope of negative 2. These guys were already gone. This guy was already go gone because it has a positive 4 here. Another problem is that it has a slope of half. This guy is no good because it has a slope of half. This guy is, has a slope of 2 but positive 2. We need a slope of negative 2. This guy is no good. This is the answer. Answer is A. There are two things we need. A slope of a negative, a slope of a negative 2 because the original line has a positive 2 slope. We need a slope of negative 2 and the original line goes through 0 and 5 so the mirror image along x-axis has to go through 0 and negative 5 because you flip it. And therefore when x is 0, well, five, y has to be negative 5. This is it. Answer choice is, answer is A. Of course, I could have done this right from the very beginning and told you the answer is A, but I wanted to go through all the others to show you what was, what was wrong with the others. But anyway, the answer choice is A. I hope you find it helpful. Thank you.